What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman, aka All Fires. Now the very first trailer for Deadpool and Wolverine definitely gave us enough to talk about and hold us over until the second. In fact, it gave us so many Easter eggs, some channels including mine broke it down in more than once. And when you add on top of that, all the behind the scenes footage and scenes we were seeing leading up to the first trailer drop, it feels like we've been breaking down Deadpool and Wolverine for over a year. Still, that said, we don't know a ton about this film, and really that's a testament to Marvel Studios for finally locking it down. Well, today we have the latest from the rumor mill on three specific locations across the multiverse that Deadpool and Wolverine apparently are going to travel to. We're going to break them all down. Some of them are actually familiar to us, and while I think extremely plausible and offers greater context to what Marvel has been doing in Phase 4 and 5, we'll talk about that during this. I think there's also some little nitpicks here that we have to re-examine as we get more excited about the proposition of Deadpool and Wolverine showing up in the 616 and facing off against the Avengers as today's update implies. We're breaking it all down, the latest for Deadpool and Wolverine, but now I want to tell you guys about the sponsor of today's video, Private Internet Access VPN, which if you don't know what a VPN is, let me explain. A virtual private network, or VPN for short, is an app that hides your IP address and safeguards your internet connection through an encrypted tunnel. This way, it shields your digital life from the eyes of those who are looking to exploit your private information. But privacy and protection is just one feature of using private internet access VPN. Another is unlocking your streaming's full potential, especially for a streaming service like Netflix, but also Disney and Hulu. They have an entire library of shows, but only certain ones are accessible wherever you are. By using a VPN, you're able to bypass this and gain access to all of the shows. It would be the same as paying for a nice hotel room and then only getting to stay in the hallway. You're not getting everything you're paying for, but with PIA VPN, they're going to help you unlock all of your streaming services full potential. And the best part is you can use one single private internet access VPN subscription to protect all your devices, your laptop, desktop, phone. So make sure to visit piavpn.com forward slash everything always or follow the link down below to save 83% on private internet access VPN and the first four months free. Again, just follow the link down below, download and install PIA VPN, get protected and unlock your full streaming potential today. Okay, so first up, keep this in grain of salt territory because as I mentioned during the prologue, this is the latest coming from the rumor mill, but apparently Deadpool and Wolverine are going to visit the 838 part of the multiverse that we first visited during Multiverse of Madness. Now, I have to bring this up only because we haven't covered it here at the channel, and I feel like I'm still seeing theory videos that say we may have seen the 838 again during the post credit scene for the Marvels, but there's actually one specific reason we know that this is not 838, and it's not because he says Charles and Charles died to Wanda, because we know Baron Mordo had the Time Stone and could have resurrected him. And also, of course, we're seeing Maria Rambeau as Binary and not Captain Marvel, the version we saw during Multiverse of Madness. But in the comics, Captain Marvel becomes Binary, so it could just be this is later after her transformation. But these aren't the reasons that we know this is an 838. We know this isn't the 838 universe because Dr. Hank McCoy has never heard of the multiverse and says that coming from a different part of the multiverse would of course be impossible. If the Baxter Foundation that we saw during the 838's Multiverse of Madness scene actually had knowledge on this, you can rest assured that Dr. Hank McCoy would also already know this, and because he doesn't means this is not the 838. But what we do know about this mystery universe is that it contains an X-Men, much like the 838 in the Multiverse of Madness for sure contained an X-Men as well because Dr. Charles Xavier is rocking the yellow chair that if you look very closely has the form of an X in the pattern on the back of the chair where the padding is. That means that Deadpool and Wolverine visiting the 838 could be for that very reason, that they're looking to find members of the X-Men as Deadpool, now charged by the TVA, is trying to assemble a team to take out Cassandra Nova. And I actually think this goes a long way in adding some context to the post credit scene from the Marvels. It could be that we're going to get versions of the X-Men returning, but in updated versions of themselves from across the multiverse, a multiverse X-Men, if you will. And that's why we're going to all of these separate parts where X-Men exist, so you can take a beast from wherever the Marvel's post credit scene was, say maybe a storm from the 838, etc. By the time they all make it to the 616 and or whatever's left over by Secret Wars, then we will have an X-Men team made up of actors that are reprising their roles of older versions of the character, but updated and from other parts of the multiverse, which explain their variations and differences, like the Wolverine we're about to see in the blue and yellow suit. Now, the next part of this says that one of the parts they're going to go to in the multiverse is actually going to be Savage Land. And I gotta be honest, 
honest, this feels like Multiverse of Madness all over again, where we suspected maybe the tropical point in the multiverse that we saw during the Multiverse of Madness trailer was Savage Land, and a lot of people have pointed to the bed that we assumed is from Hulk Ragnarok. That's where it showed up the first time, and pointed to the room and said it looks like he's somewhere in a cave. We also know that from one of the promo shots that was shared officially by Ryan Reynolds, you can see what looks like Jurassic Park writing on the back of these director chairs for both Logan and Wade Wilson, and when you put dinosaurs in this close of proximity to Marvel and specifically X-Men, it can mean none other than the Savage Land. Now, taking this one step further, and if my theory is right, that we're getting to see different parts of the multiverse so that we can actually end up getting a multiversal X-Men in the MCU, then Savage Land is a place that you would go to find an X-Men character or two, given how much overlap they have from the comics. It could be that they're teeing this up again as part of the multiverse travel, but this is exactly the same thing we were theorizing about Multiverse of Madness. And of course, that montage scene of them just falling through the multiverse ended up being nothing more than that until they fell into the 838 and they focused on that specific one. Now that being said, how this update concludes and the latest in the rumor mill is that Deadpool and Wolverine, when they finally make it into the 616, are going to get noticed by the Avengers. And this is my big nitpick here about this update or this rumor that's going around only because the 616 doesn't have an Avengers right now. Now, yeah, they could come up into the past of the 616, you know, sort of something like we saw during Infinity War and Avengers Endgame. You're visiting another part of the 616 or in a branch timeline, but it's not the same. It's not the 616, the place that we're hoping they're going to end up and stay going forward for future films of the MCU. And this kind of got me thinking that if they did show up in the middle of the MCU right now and they did have to quote unquote face an Avengers, who those characters would even be? No one wants to see Hulk face Wolverine for the first time as Professor Hulk, and there's surely no semblance of a team that would make any sense or even resemble an Avengers team. So my hope for this is that yes, they do cross over into the 616, but if we're going to get them against OG Avengers in any sort of capacity, they can do that in another part of the multiverse they can throw away so that there can be no consequences. And I know for the guy who's always complaining that there hasn't been any consequences in Marvel, this is the one time I'm hoping they let loose and don't sort of pigeonhole them for the back half of say the third part of this film in an MCU that doesn't have much going on in the way of teams right now actually doesn't have anything going on in the way of teams right now. I mean, we may here very soon have a Fantastic Four and a Thunderbolts and another Avengers, but right now, like the closest we got is Miss Marvel recruiting Kate Bishop for a young Avengers team, but they don't even exist yet. You got Wong, I guess he could call She-Hulk. I don't know what Shang-Chi and the Hulk and Wong were doing, but maybe they could all call each other. Sam Wilson's cap, question mark. They all come fight each other. I don't know. You guys insert your own Avengers here. Actually, we don't have to. Marvel, why don't you go ahead and insert your own Avengers here? Guys, let me know all your thoughts down below, though. If we are going to get any of the OG Avengers or any of the current 616 characters crossing over against Deadpool and Wolverine in a fight capacity... Who do you want to see in this? Everyone's pointing to that promo that we definitely know that Sam Wilson's cap, and this has got to be New York, and those are most definitely Avengers. It's just pretty unclear uh, which sort of team iteration they would fight. Again, unless they pop up in the history of the MCU, sort of Avengers Endgame style, but you guys let me know your thoughts down below quickly. Let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. All right, we are still giving away PlayStation 5s at the channel. All you gotta do be a subscriber, leave a comment on this video because it's truly random. The more videos you comment on, the better chance you have of winning. All winners will always be announced at the end of the videos. The best way to keep up with the content has always been to hit the notification bell with all notifications turned on. And as always, if you like today's video, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit the like button. My name's Michael Roman. Find me over on Instagram and Twitter at IamFires. You can also find me on all platforms with original music under the name All Fires. And while I sincerely appreciate you checking my music out, thanks for checking this channel out. Stick around. We'll be posting again real, real soon.